The homeless encampment along the rail trail is currently undergoing a deep clean ahead of winter. Kelowna Bylaw Services Manager Kevin Mead says the cleanup is expected to take roughly six days. Mead says along with the cleanup, each site will be outlined by a chalk line, which is 10 feet between the next designated campsite. As we come now into the winter season and start to prepare for that, what we don't want to see are multiple tents and our single structures or superstructures where if there is a fire for any reason that it doesn't jump through and create uh, any issues, uh, undue issues for those that are using the site and uh, first responders. Mead says those living on the rail trail will also be limited to a camp size of 12 feet by 12 feet. To date, a total of 130 people call the rail trail home. Mead says the cleanup started on Tuesday and residents of the rail trail have shared mixed reviews. It's really about, you know, achieving compliance, keeping a balance between the needs of the community, regardless if it's those that are sheltering outside and are those that are using the trail as well. One person living on the trail began trying to erase the spray paint line that was done by bylaw on Wednesday. Might as well just get rid of it. What's the point of moving it again, right? Mm -hmm. Christine has lived along the rail trail for a year and says she is getting tired of the bi-weekly cleanups done by the city. Right now they want us to take all of our stuff and move it in the pouring rain over to the other side of the um, trail for their five minute little scraping of the ground, which is fine. I don't mind the cleanliness. I appreciate that, but moving it in the middle of the rain is absolutely ludicrous. ludicrous. Over the last several days, Kelowna Bylaw, RCMP, City, Roads and Parks, RDCO, and more have been in attendance during the cleanup. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Reeve in Kelowna.